is going on guys? John here for another cooking video and today we're gonna make some hash browns. Now you guys ever go to Waffle House and you just think to yourself, how in the hell do they get the hash browns so perfectly crispy every single time? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Let's go. All right guys, this is gonna start out pretty straightforward. Here we have about one pound of shredded uncooked potatoes. You can use uh, frozen, just make sure you thaw them out. You can use fresh. Uh, just make sure you soak them in some cold water to help draw out some of the starches and then you rinse them off really good Drain them and then you can use them just like that. These are frozen and thawed So these are good to go now What we're gonna do to start out is we have a pan that has been heating up for Almost five five to ten full minutes on medium-high heat. So this oil is very hot as you can see, the oil is very fluid, which is a sign that it is, it is fully heated up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the potatoes and we're gonna pop them in the pan. And now, we are going to take our spatula, make sure oil is all over them. All we wanna do is just get the potatoes coated with oil. And now what we're gonna do is almost make a potato cake, kind of. So you're just gonna pat them into one uniform shape, like this. Don't push too hard, you don't wanna, you don't wanna make mashed potatoes in the pan, but just make sure that they are one uniform shape and that they are all touching. Once you are satisfied with the shape of your potatoes, now it's time to salt them on top. This will help draw out some of the moisture and make them crispy. Now don't touch the freaking hash browns, all right? Do not touch them, do not stir them, do not flip them, do nothing. Let them just sit here for 10 full minutes, all right? 10 full minutes, I'll see you soon. All right guys, so here we have the hash browns. They have been untouched for 10 minutes. As you can see, the outer crust has formed and they are, well, they should be nice and crispy on the bottom. So now comes the hard part. We gotta flip them, so wish me luck. Whoa, look at that crispiness, oh my goodness. As we can see, the hash browns are nice and crispy. Nice uniform texture going on here. They are all perfectly brown. So now, add a little bit more salt on top and then let them sit for an additional five minutes. Once you are done, you can put some onions, some peppers, whatever you like. I just put cheese. They are ready to be served. Enjoy. Well, thank you for joining me on this hash brown adventure. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's really as easy as just don't touch them. Just let them, let them get crispy and you will enjoy the heck out of them. Here we go, guys. So crispy, so good, wouldn't have them any other way. Thanks for watching, guys.